They control my life, yeah, for sure. I get a lot of pain across here. Throbbing, pulsating pain. It shoots right up into Beth Bowman's head. And it's like they're twisting like that. And it's very hard to think. It's like Bowman, nearly 3 million Canadians end up in a doctor's office every year with a migraine headache. For some, the strain is crippling, making it impossible to work, drive, or even sleep. So most of my patients have to go home from work or just lie down in a dark room and they lose a lot of productivity. Doctors have long recognized certain nitrate-rich foods can be triggers for migraines, including processed meats, wine and chocolate. It's not clear why that's the case for some people and not others. Now a new study says it could be linked to bacteria in your mouth and gut that processes nitrates. Researchers found people with migraines tended to have higher levels of this bacteria, which leads to more nitrates being broken down into migraine-inducing chemicals. And so they are really statistically significant. So it makes sense to avoid nitrate-rich foods. Nitrates mainly work by relaxing the blood vessels in your body. Despite how it feels, it's not your brain that's hurting during a headache. Usually, it's the swelling of blood vessels or the tissue around your brain that causes pain. This may be just a glimmer of hope in terms of pursuing possible treatments. There may be something we can do about the bacteria in your mouth if you have bad migraines. But there's a twist. Researchers say it appears having more of these bacteria may be good for your heart, virtually acting like medication and relaxing your blood vessels. So researchers say while they'd like to find a way to eliminate migraines, they'll have to do so without risking a person's heart health. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.